guys so we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in um i am finally going back curly i straightened my hair two weeks ago and honestly i was over it by like the first week um but i was also lazy and i didn't want to wash my hair so um yeah this is me reverting my hair uh to curly and as you can see my hair is puffing right back up okay um now i'm gonna be going with this dove uh shampoo this is the uh the i don't remember which one this is i'll leave it in the link or i'll leave it in the description box um it's the intensive repair there we go <laughs> um honestly guys i'm not like uh anal about my shampoos like I, yeah, to me i feel like all shampoos do the same thing okay they cleanse your hair cleanse your scalp that's what you need and i'm i don't really i'm not picky with my shampoos now i only shampoo once um especially because my hair was straight and there was really no buildup in my hair so i'm only shampooing it once Usually when I shampoo like from a wash and go, I'll do it twice just to get rid of all gel buildup. But like I said, I didn't really have any buildup since my hair was straight and I only use like this really light oil, um, which I, was, I ain't really oiled my hair that much. Honestly, I told you I was really lazy after I straightened my hair. So there's really no buildup in my hair. Now I'm just sectioning it off for deep conditioner. Deep conditioner that I'm using is the Aussie Moist 3 Miracle Minute Mer- Ooh, oh. <laughs> B okay uh the uh the uh, I'm I got distracted the 3 minute miracle deep conditioner I think that's what it's called it's a long ass name I ain't got time for that but I'll leave it in the description box this deep conditioner is bay like this is my holy grail like I don't use anything else but I mean I do use something like if I'm trying a new deep conditioner but I always go back to this this is the best deep conditioner that I have ever used. It's so moisturizing, it has so much slip, like I can detangle with it. It's just bomb. Okay, moving on. Um, so I'm just raking it through my hair, uh, finger detangling a little bit, cause girl, I don't do that for my whole head. I go in with tools because anybody got time to be standing in the shower de uh, 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 detangling with their fingers all day. No. Okay, so I'm going with my wide tooth comb um running that through okay then i'm going with my fake ass denim brush that i got from walgreens okay um and detangling further with that okay um and yeah that's what i'm going to be doing just detangling and okay deep conditioning see how easy this comb is going through my hair oh the slap this in this uh, conditioner this deep conditioner look at look at that look at that look at that oh butter butter Woo! get into it
Okay, so normally I'd, at this point, after I'm done applying the deep conditioner, I don't uh, sit under dry or anything. I literally leave it in for as long as it takes me to shave my legs, shave my armpits, scrub my feet, or do whatever. So that could be three minutes, it could be five minutes, it could be 10 minutes. I don't, like, I, mm. when I tell y'all I am a lazy natural, I am a lazy natural. Anybody got time to be getting out of the shower just to go back in and rinse it? No, no. And guess what? My hair is fine. It feels moisturized. Like all this overnight deep conditioning, hour, 30 minutes. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna style my hair in the shower. I'm using the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream Coil Enhancing Moisture Butter. I think I got that right. That is also a long ass name. However, this butter cream is, just, is moisturizing. It's, I love it. This is my favorite um, moisturizing cream ever, okay? Um, now, I usually style my wash and goes in the shower. It is just easier for me because I have to have my hair soaking wet. So instead of coming out of the shower, re-wetting my hair with a spray bottle and doing all of that, I just stay in the shower and I do it. It's not cutting down on any time, it's just like I don't have to re-wet my hair once I get out of the shower. All I have to do is get dressed and dry my hair. Now I'm going in with my Wetline Extreme Gel. Okay, uh, this is my favorite gel to do a washing goes. Okay, um, you can get it at Walmart, Target, Sally's. Pretty cheap, I think it's like $5 for this big old tub. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and rake that through my hair. So I turned my water off because, hello, water conservation. Um, so every time I need to wet my hair, I just, you know, turn it on a little bit, put my head under the water, under the shower, and wet it and style it, okay? So this is what I'm looking like. As you guys can see, my curls then bounced right back. All right, so I sat under the dryer for about an hour. Um, and now I'm gonna go ahead and stretch my hair using my blow dryer, okay? 
Um, it's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Um, I'm just gonna pull on, I'm gonna grab my hair, make sure they're all even. Pull on it, take the blow dryer, and blow dry my roots until they're dried or stretched, okay? Um, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just pull on your hair and blow dry it. On low, by the way. After you're done blow drying it on low heat, you're gonna go ahead and uh, cold shock it so that way your hair cools in a stretched state. Um, so yeah, if your blow dryer has a cool button, just go ahead and push that after you um, uh, blow dry it on low heat. Now I'm gonna take a hair tie to just stretch it so that way my hair can cool down again in a stretched state. So I'm just banding it. Um, with the hair tie all down and not all the way down to the tips, just right there. <laughs> um, and repeat. Alright, so here I'm just showing you that, yo, I ain't had no heat damage, look at the definition, look at the definition, heat damage where, who's that, I don't know who that is, <laughs> okay, my hair just bounced right back, so this goes to show that you can safely straighten your natural hair, okay, I don't straighten my hair that often, by the way, obviously, if you straighten your hair a lot, you will get heat damage, but I don't, I straighten my hair once a year, so just goes to show you can straighten your hair and not have heat damage. taking the hair ties out I just left them in until I was done um, stretching my entire head I didn't leave them in like for any specific time I just did it until I was done stretching it and I'm just taking them out right away I'm not leaving them in So this is what I'm looking like. I'm just shaking my hair out and fluffing it. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, and I will see you in my next video.